Now we shall see the working of uh, MOSFET as an amplifier. So let us consider the circuit which is given over here. So we have got a MOSFET a resistor RD connected to the drain. And you can see we have connected two sources uh, to the gate. One is VGG which is DC and the uh, AC voltage which is to be amplified. And uh, at the drain we take the output voltage, AC output voltage. And we have one more voltage source VDD between the drain and the source through RDD. So we have this VGG and uh, VDD as the DC voltage sources required to obtain the DC current ID and uh, the VDS and VGS to keep the MOSFET in saturation condition because only when the MOSFET is operating in saturation condition we can use the MOSFET as an amplifier. The DC voltage sources will provide the necessary biasing so that uh, the required DC drain current will flow and VDS such that MOSFET is in saturation. So with the value of uh, mu and C ox which is nothing but Kp and uh, W by L which is the dimensions of the transistors. So GM is decided the transconductance of the MOSFET is decided by the DC current ID and other parameters as mentioned over here mu and C ox because in the previous uh, slides we have seen that uh, transconductance uh, of uh, the MOSFET is given by any of the three equations. So this is one, the other one is this and the third equation happens to be uh, this. So depending on the value of mu and C ox, W bell and uh, VGS minus VTH or the ID value, the GM depends. Now this is how uh, for a given value of ID and given value of VGS, so we will be operating at this uh, uh, operating point. So we will apply a small uh, AC signal over here which will uh, be amplified and uh, which will be resulting in a uh, ID current which is small ID. So this slope is given by GM. So this V in is applied here and we end up with an output voltage which is shifted by some voltage which is uh, represented by ID into RD. So we shall see how to find the amplification factor that is what is the gain of the amplifier. First uh, we are supposed to write the small signal model for the given circuit diagram. So now this is the amplifier. This is the amplifier circuit using MOSFET what we want to find the for which we are supposed to find the gain. So first and foremost thing uh, to do in order to obtain the expression for the gain of an amplifier is short circuit all the independent DC voltage sources. So here we had two independent voltage sources that is VGG and VDD. So that has to be shorted. Now they have been shorted here. You can see this VDD is uh, shorted to ground and we are replacing the MOSFET by the small signal model in saturation region. This is actually a saturation region. So we are representing the MOSFET uh, by a constant current source whose magnitude is GM into VGS. So this is how we can represent the MOSFET in the saturation region. Okay, upon uh, doing this, replacing the MOSFET by its small signal model and uh, short circuiting all the independent uh, voltage sources. Now this is how the equivalent circuit will look like, the AC equivalent circuit. Now this is how it can be rewritten as and uh, of course it can also be because this is a uh, voltage dependent current source can be represented by this. Now since the, uh, this RD instead of writing it here I, it can be brought down here and then we can find it. So output voltage is nothing but uh, Output voltage is given by I0 into RD, where this I0 is the negative of uh, this uh, GM into VGS. So from this we can able to see that the voltage gain, the small signal voltage gain, which is nothing but uh, V out by V in, can be represented, can be written as minus GM into RD. Suppose if we have now the practical amplifier will be like this. So we'll going to have uh, a coupling capacitor. Uh, will not be having a VGG so instead of that uh, the required gate to source voltage uh, to have the required value of uh, DC current will be represented by will be obtained using this uh, R1 R2 a potential divider now we will going to have this VGD as the drain to source voltage which will be resulting in the value of ID so now how do we write the small signal model for such a practical circuit now we know that 
uh, now to write the small signal model the DC voltage is represented by a short so that's what is done here so this is uh, being made zero here and replace all capacitors by the short circuit now all capacitors which is over here the coupling capacitor will be is being represented by the short circuit and uh, rewriting that over here we can rewrite the circuit diagram of uh, this by replacing the MOSFET by its small signal model which is a voltage dependent current source can be written like this and ultimately we will get the the expression for uh, V0 as minus VGS into GM into RD so this VGS which is nothing but uh, gate to source voltage is exactly uh, same as the input voltage so replacing this VGS by V in so we will get the expression for uh, AV which is nothing but V0 by Vn. So we can also get the expression for the output voltage if we have some load resistance over here. So see now we will have a uh, load resistor RL. Now this is uh, the coupling capacitor which is coupling the input to the amplifier. The output is now coupled to the load. Now in order to write the small signal model so you ground the uh, DC voltage source here it is grounded you replace the capacitor by the short circuit uh, capacitor is represented by short circuit and uh, the MOSFET is represented by its uh, small signal model which is nothing but a voltage dependent current source so if we actually find what is V0 now V0 is nothing but the drop across this parallel resistor which is exactly this multiplied by V in so naturally the output by input voltage is given by minus gm into RD parallel RL. So this is uh, how we can find the the magnitude of the voltage gain of the amplifier where GM is decided by the ID of the MOSFET which is again decided by what is the dimensions of the transistor and, uh, and many other parameters. So in the coming uh, videos we will see okay, how the MOSFET is used in uh, different uh, configurations to get the gain of an, amp gain of an input voltage.